should take the same caution you have in approaching a coworker as you would a lioness. Sure, the latter can rip your head off, but the former can do far worse. Attempting to strike up something romantic with a coworker could lead to an incredibly awkward work environment, or worse, a termination. That's why you need to make damn sure that she's into you before revealing your cards. To do so, you'll want to identify a few of the following signs a female coworker likes you. Signs a female coworker likes you. Before you ask a coworker on a date, play it safe and look for the following signs that your coworker is into you. One, without fail, she says hi. This counts as a sign she's into you unless she's the receptionist or security. Receptionists have many functions, one being to greet and smile at everyone that comes in. You really know she's into you when she seeks you out to greet you or goes out of her way to make contact with you. If she works in another department or far away from you, yet somehow always manages to find you and wish you a good morning, she might just be into you. But this is a pretty soft sign. I wouldn't advise making a strong move until you've checked off a few more signs. Two, she talks to you in person where a Slack message would do. Maybe she's just old school, but did she really need to physically walk over to your desk to ask you what time the meeting is? Surely she could have just sent a Slack message, email, or asked one of the many coworkers that were sitting closer to her. This may be a subtle sign, but it's one that she's into you. She's looking for any excuse to chat you up. Of course, just because she likes talking to you doesn't mean she wants to go out with you, but it's a good start. Not to mention that we all put up walls at work. We're professionals. She may never have envisioned herself going out with you because she abides by work policies. But once you make that first move, she may see you in a completely different light. Three, she asks about your weekends. For whatever reason, she's more inquisitive about your social life than everyone else. She's always asking what you did this weekend, asking you personal questions, and probing you about who you are outside of work. She may be snooping for traces of romance. Before she lets herself fantasize about a life with you, she wants to know if you're a taken man. She may also be doing this to drop hints that she's free and would love to be a part of your weekend and plans. Four, you always have a willing partner. Whenever a group project comes about, she's the first person to join your group. Her hand is always raised when the question of who wants to pair up with you is broached. Even if you two aren't asked to work together, she'll go out of her way to help you out. She makes herself available to you because she cares about your success and wants to spend time with you. If there's a problem, she's there to help. If you're overburdened, she'll ask to carry the weight. And if you have to work late, her prior after work plans will magically disappear. Five, she'll ask if you want to grab lunch. A working woman only gets 45 minutes or so of free time during work hours. That time is sacred to her. If she's asking you to spend these holy 45 minutes with her, it's because she values you. You're the person she looks to for a bit of respite, fun, and cheer to break up her working hours. If she really likes you, she'll delay her lunch or compromise on an early lunch just to spend time with you. And it's true, maybe you're just a work friend, but that's always how these things start. Just look at Jim and Pam. Also, keep in mind that familiarity breeds attraction. The more time you two spend together, the more you'll like each other. So if you like her, make sure to put in the time. Six, casually suggesting getting together outside of work. Forget about lunch. If she's asking to hang out after work, you're in. Spending lunch together is one thing, but seeing you as more than her work friend means you've just leveled up. Naturally, she'll start by asking you for drinks after work. If that goes well, you could take the next step by asking her to hang out on the weekend. And finally, do that activity that you both are always talking about. It's okay if you don't immediately define the relationship as romantic. You're allowed to play it safe while slowly building romantic attraction. Seven she'll ask that you walk her to her car. Maybe it's late at night and she doesn't feel comfortable walking to her car alone. Or maybe she doesn't want to be sucked into a conversation with another employee. So she asks you to protect her from getting into unwanted interactions. Whatever the case, she feels comfortable enough with you to ask for such a thing. She feels comfortable being alone with you. This may not seem like a sign, but as a woman, I promise you it is. We're not gonna ask just anyone to walk us to our car. In fact, if we're not feeling a date, we'll do everything in our power to avoid the awkward walk and potentially disastrous goodbye. Eight, innocently touches you and makes physical contact. 
I guarantee you had to watch some crappy corporate video about touching in the workplace when you were first hired. HR no doubt has a pretty strict policy regarding physical contact with other employees. So when she decides to rewrite the handbook and touch you anyway, she's not only maybe breaking a rule, but she's showing how comfortable she is around you. As women, we're never going to touch a man that we don't feel comfortable with. We will, however, touch friends and men we're not necessarily romantically attracted to, but we'll never touch a guy we dislike or aren't sure about yet. A touch is a clear signal of interest. Maybe it's just platonic. I guess you'll have to keep reading the signs to find out more. Nine, she gets you coffee. Does she just happen to do nice things for you? Maybe she gives you some of the fries she brought back from lunch or brings you the snack from the vending machine she knows you love so much. Or if she's really into you, she'll buy you a coffee every once in a while. These nice gestures are reserved only for the finest men in her life. 10, she tells her coworkers how great you are. Chances are you won't find her waxing poetic about you by the water cooler, but you will find her sticking up for you, backing your ideas, and occasionally singing your praises. In or outside of the workplace, if a woman says positive things about you to friends and family, it's a definite sign that a female likes you. 11. She doesn't call you by your name. While other coworkers are more formal when they address you, she, on the other hand, shortens your name, uses a nickname or even a pet name. That's because you guys are tight and everyone knows it. 12. Everyone thinks you two are crushing. Offices are generally close-knit social ecosystems. Everyone is in everyone else's business. They kind of have to be. Which means that they're the first ones to notice that you two have an extra special connection going on. And naturally, they'll talk about it. I mean, who doesn't find forbidden fruit worth talking about? Your close office friends will let you know what they think. Who knows if they're right or wrong, but it's definitely a good sign that they're talking about you too. 13, she checks in on you if you're out of the office. She probably doesn't need to do this. You've already notified HR and the necessary parties, but she's messaging you just to make sure you're all right. Your other coworkers don't do that, so why would she? Chances are she has the hots for you or just really needs last week's meeting notes. So she likes you. Now what? Where do you go from here? Heating things up can be a risky move. Learn how to walk this tightrope romance by teaming up with us at Emma Loves. We teach our students the shortcut to finding their ideal match by mega dating. Mega dating is our dating philosophy and it shapes everything we teach here at Emma Loves. Simply put, mega dating is dating prolifically with the specific goal of going on 20 dates in 90 days. This will give you ample women to compare and contrast so you can refine not only your dating skills, but also who your ideal partner is. To teach you how to quickly find highly compatible women in just weeks and become the most eligible bachelor in town, you'll team up with romantic experts, each skilled in their own unique area to support you. Our team, me, co-founder, curriculum developer, head coach, and I host two coaching sessions every week. Thomas, co-founder and coach, he'll lead the bi-weekly Man Cave event where men come together to talk dating, bond with one another, and support other single men. Kat, Brooke, and Audrey are mock date specialists go on a practice date with them, and receive feedback before your next date. Haley is your new stylist. She's worked with celebs from every industry and is now about to raid your closet. Tilly is our holistic sex and intimacy coach. She'll help you get the most out of your sex life so you and your partner are happier between the sheets. Andrea is an award-winning fitness coach. Are you ready to eat right and build muscle? Mia is our social media expert. Revamp your Facebook and Instagram profiles with her help and start meeting women online. And look, we realize that the single life can be difficult. If accepted into our coaching program, Dating Decoded, you'd be joining a community of supportive men and coaches who are there to listen, support, and encourage you as you navigate the single life. Our program offers every student a lifetime membership, so the support won't stop until you've found your ideal partner. If you're ready to find your forever partner, book a Zoom session with our team today. Together, we'll talk about your dating history, your goals, and show you how our program, Dating Decoded, can help you find your ideal partner. That wraps up this video, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment in the comments below, and follow us on social media. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.